All right. Swag aside, let's play this or that. Sure. Okay, sure. Jason, I wanted to be a little bit different. I wanted to go off the beaten path. I didn't want this to be Omega versus Rolex, which is the Watch World's version of like Camaro versus Mustang. So we're going with the IWC Da Vinci Perpetual Calendar Chronograph. Right. 3921, new for this year, versus the Beauvais 1822 Chronograph Cambiano from the Panin Farina collection. So these are offbeat chronographs from outside the mainstream. Even though one's an IWC, these are individualistic case shapes, both with hinge lugs, adventurous styles, and still tightly bound to the maker's heritage. So let's go over what each offers. Beauvais 1822 Chronograph Cambiano, $25,750. Launched in 2011, it's a stainless steel or stainless with DLC case, 45 millimeters. Amadeo case means it converts to a pocket watch, a pendant watch, a wrist watch, and a desk clock or a sports timer on a chain. Absolutely unique and distinctive, even alongside the IWC Da Vinci. This one looks out there from a micro manufacturer out of Florier, a real small company, available in several case and dial colors, and it has a Valshu 7750 based automatic 48 to 50 hour chronograph movement with a grand date hacking, modern beat rate, and a quick set. Part of the Panin Farina collection, it's up against the IWC Da Vinci Perpetual Calendar Chronograph, a $29,900 steel successor to the late great 3758-3750 family of hinge lug Da Vinci's. 43 millimeters in stainless steel, the revenge of the hinge lugs, gone since about 2006 from the IWC collection, rich sunburst gray dial, truly superb dial details on this one. Uh, you might have expected Beauvais to walk away with this category, dial detail, but I actually have to say the applied Arabics, faceted alpha hands, polished chapter rings, and the aventurine-like finish of the register at 12 make this one sizzle. Flyback, automatic, 68 hour, vertical clutch, column wheel, quick set date, and a moon face with a perpetual calendar. Which one of these do you carry off for yourself? For myself, I, uh, that's tough. So the Beauvet is something that I've, I've liked the design for a long time. It's very versatile. Um, you get a lot for your money. You can play with the watch. It's certainly something you don't just put on your wrist. Um, you know, it comes off your wrist during the day. When you're at work, it goes on the, on the desk. When you're walking to the water cooler, it goes on the chain in your pocket. It's, it's very versatile. Um, and it's, it's definitely a, a, a cool segue into something that's not your standard watch. Um, the IWC for me is something a little bit more true to what I'd actually wear. Okay. Uh, so overall case shape of the Beauvet is very different. I feel IWC with the pivoted lugs, um, it's going to sit on the wrist well. The dial detail on this piece I've seen up close and in person, it's, it's gorgeous. And uh, gray and blue, um, you know, kind of hard to beat. Yeah, I think for mechanical refinement, this one's got it all over the Beauvais. The Beauvais is the kind of watch, though, I think you could say, Jason, it's one of those watches where you own it and you know you'll never see another one. Yeah, it's definitely rare. Um, the IWC, if we're talking IWC, you're going to see tons of them, but this specific piece, you're not going to run into someone wearing. It's also kind of a hard piece to, uh, to find walking around the city. Also true. A very scarce, you're going to see a lot of you're actually going to see a lot of Portofinos compared to this one. So True. IWC is all about the pilot's watch and the Portuguese, but you're going to see a heck of a lot of Portofinos even compared to the Da Vinci's. I think IWC was brave and bold to make SIHH all about the Da Vinci this year. That shows they love and revere their history, and I think devoting an entire trade show to a real special interest watch line really bears that out. So congrats, IWC. I actually agree with Jason on this. It's the more special of the two to me.